एवरी वन वेलकम टू द मैथ्स क्लास टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट दी वॉर्म अप एक्सरसाइज सो लेट्स बिगिन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज राइट इन फिगर्स सो हियर द नंबर नेम्स आर गिवेन एंड वी नीड टू राइट देम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फिगर्स सो पार्ट ए इज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड फाइव सो टू राइट द गिवेन नंबर नेम्स इन फिगर्स वी नीड टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मैंशन द place values the places fine so ones tens hundred thousand ten thousands and now we will put the values so here it is 12000 means in place of thousand we have to write 12 so one will come under 10000 and two will come under the thousands place so it will become 12000 and then five so five will be written at the ones place and in between at hundreds and tens place we have to write zeros so it is 12005 now next is part b 15915 so again first of all we will write the places ones tens hundred thousands ten thousands and now we will put the values accordingly so 15 thousands it means it will come under the period of thousand so 1 under 10000 and 5 under thousands then 900 it means 9 will come under hundreds place and then 15 1 at tens place and 5 at ones place so it is 15915 in figures now next is part c so it is 10000 12 so again first of all we will mention the places up to 10000s and then we will put the values accordingly 10000 it means it will come under the period of thousands so 1 under 10000 and 0 under thousands so it is 10000 and then 12 so 12 will be written at the ones and tens place 1 under the tens place and 2 under the ones place it will become 12 so the value in figures is 10000 12 Now next is part D, two lakh five thousand five hundred and eighty. Now we have to write the values up to lakhs, ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, and lakh. And now we will put the values. Two lakh. It means two will be written under the lakhs place. Five thousand. So five under the thousand place, not under the ten thousand because it is the thousands period. If you will have two digits in the thousand period, then they will be written under ten thousand and thousand. Here it is only single digit, single number, so it will be written under the thousands place. Then five hundred. So five we will write under the hundreds place, and then eighty, eight under tens place, and zero under the ones place. So in figures we have written two lakh five thousand five hundred and eighty. Next is question number two. write the number names so here the numbers are given in the form of figures and we need to write their number names so how to read these numbers which are given in figures for that we need to mention the place values above it so ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand and lakh and now we can easily read this number how Two is under lakhs place, so it is two lakh. Then five is under thousand place, so it is five thousand. Six is under the hundreds place, so it is six hundred. And at tens and ones place, we have nothing. So how to read it? Two lakh five thousand six hundred. And this is how we have to write it in the form of number name. That is two lakh because two is under the lakhs place. Five thousand five is under the thousands place. Six hundred because six is under the hundreds place. So two lakh five thousand six hundred is the number name of this number which is written here in the form of figures. Now next is part B. Again a number is given in the form of figure, so we have to read it and write its number name. So for reading this number, we need to just write the places above it. and we must start writing the places from the extreme right side that is ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand and lakh 
and now we can easily read it 1 lakh 69,000 because this is the thousands period and at hundreds tens and ones place we have nothing so 1 lakh 69,000 is the number name 1 lakh 69,000 this is how you can write the number that is given in the form of figures you can write it write its number name now next is part c so again we will just mention the places ones tens hundred thousand here it is ten thousand and lakhs so how to read it five lakh because here we have nothing so this is the number name next is question number three write in hindu arabic numerals so here the Roman numerals are given and we need to write them in Hindu Arabic numerals. So part A is XXIV. So here X means 10. So XX 2 times X means this is 20 and IV stands for 4. It means 20 plus 4 it is 24. Next is part B. Here it is x x x i x so 3 times x means 30 and i x this means 9 so 30 plus 9 is 39 next is part c x v i i i so here x means 10 and v i i i means 8 so 10 plus 8 is 18 now next is x x x v i so here three times x means 30 and v i stands for 6 so 30 plus 6 is 36 next is question number 4 write the greatest number of five digits using digits 3 0 and 5 here in this question we have to write the greatest five digit number using these three digits only now how can we write a five digit number using only three digits it means we need to repeat one digit and which digit we have to repeat the greatest one because we have to frame the greatest number so three digits are already given it means one digit we have to write two more times okay in total it will be written three times and as we are uh, supposed to write the greatest number so we need to start writing the digits in decreasing order so the greatest number of five digits using digits three zero and five will be five 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 because we have to write five and then we have to repeat it two times and then three and zero so fifty five thousand five hundred and thirty will be the greatest five digit number that we can write using these three digits that is three zero and five next is question number five write the smallest number of five digits using digits seven two zero and nine now here in this question we have to frame the smallest number using these four digits so using four digits we have to write the smallest five digit number so it means we have to repeat one digit as we are supposed to write the smallest number so we need to repeat the smallest digit right so the smallest number of five digits using digits seven two zero and nine will be now how we can write the smallest number of five digits now we need to start writing the digits with the smallest number but as you all know we can't start any number with zero so the digit which is more than zero that will be written on the very left side that is extreme end or we can say the first number will be the digit which is more than zero so it is two then we have to repeat zero one time the digit is given and one more time we have to repeat it because we are framing the smallest number then seven and then nine it means we have to write these digits in an increasing order fine and we can't start framing a number or writing a number with zero so the digit will which will be more than zero greater than zero that will be written first so 20,079 will be the smallest number of five digits that we can write using these four digits that is 7, 2, 0 and 9. Now next is question number 6. Write the smallest number of six digits using three different digits. Now we have to use three different digits and we have to write the smallest six digit number. Now 
if we have to write the smallest six digit number and we need to use three different digits it means which digits we can use the smallest one zero after that one and then two so we can't start writing the number with zero so we will begin with one and then we have to repeat zero four times okay and then we will write the next digit that is two so one lakh two will be the smallest number of six digits that we can write using three different digits that is one zero and two so three different digits that we will use it will be one zero and two and zero will be repeated as the required number of according to the required number of digits because three digits are here with us and we need to repeat it three times so that we can frame a six digit number now next is question number seven arrange in ascending order so here we are given with some numbers and we have to arrange them in an increasing order means ascending order so first of all you will count you or you will see whether all these numbers have equal number of digits or not because if any number will have lesser number of digits that will be the smallest one so here we have five here also five digits here also five here also five and here we have more than five so this is the greatest one so 35 is common in these three digits after that here we have two here zero and here also zero so these two numbers have first three digits in common and then next here it is nine here it is two so this is the smallest one so 35029 will be the smallest number after that 35092 then 35290 after that 53920 and then 350000 so this is how you can just uh, arrange these numbers in the ascending order and in case you feel any difficulty then you can write the places over these numbers ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand you can mention the places over each and every number and then it will be easier for you to compare these numbers and then you can arrange them in ascending or descending order according to the requirement of the question now next is question number eight Ranjana ran 2059 meter and Kanchan ran 2507 meter. Who ran more and how much? So both of these girls ran some distance. We need to find who ran more and then how much she ran more. This is what we have to find. So let's write the solution. Ranjana ran 2059 meter. Kanchan ran 2507 meter. Since we know that 2507 is greater than 2059, so we can easily say that Kanchan ran more. Now we need to find how much she ran more. For that, we need to subtract. So let us subtract 2059 from 2507, and after subtraction, we will get 448 meter as the difference. So Kanchan ran more and how much she ran more? 448 meter. Now next is question number 9. Write in as many ways as possible 32 as the sum of two prime numbers. So we have to see that how we can write 32 as the sum of two prime numbers and in how many ways. So the first prime number that we can take is 3 because 3 plus 29 is 32 and 3 and 29 both are prime numbers. Because if we will take the first prime number that is 2 then we need to add 30 to it because 2 plus 32 is uh, 2 plus 30 is 32 and 2 and 32. Shit. Next is question number 10. Encircle the prime numbers from the following. Here some numbers are given. We need to identify the prime numbers and encircle them. And I hope you all are aware of the prime numbers. You know what are prime numbers. Prime numbers are those numbers which have only two factors. One and the number itself. Means which can be divided only by one and the number itself. So one is neither prime nor a composite number. 7 is a prime number because it has only two factors. It can be divided only by 1 and 7. 
2 is again a prime number because it can only be divided by 1 and 2 or we can say it has only two factors that is 1 and the number itself that is 2. 9 is not a prime number. 13 is again a prime number. 21 is a composite number. 29 is a prime number. 61 is a prime number. 79 is also a prime number. So all these numbers are prime which I have encircled here because these numbers have only two factors. One and the number itself or these numbers can be divided by only two numbers. One and the number itself. Now next is question number 11. Write the number which is one more than 35,000. 7. 1 more than. So, if we need to find a number 1 more than, we need to add 1 to the given number. So, we need to add 1 to 35,007. So, it will become 35,008. So, 1 more than 35,007 is 35,008. Next is 1 less than 80,000. So, if we need to find a number which is 1 less than the given number, we need to subtract 1 from it. So, we will subtract 1 from 80,000 and we will get 79,999. So, 1 less than 80,000 is 79,999. Next is question number 12. Look at the amount of soft drink in each 2 litre bottle given here. How much more soft drink should be added to completely fill each of the bottles? So here 2 bottles of soft drinks are given and the quantity or you can say capacity of these 2 bottles is 2 litre. It means 2 litre soft drink can be filled in these 2 bottles. But in this bottle, there is only 750 ml of soft drink and in this bottle, there is 1175 ml of soft drink. It means we can fill more soft drink in these two bottles to make it 2 liters. So, how much more soft drink uh, we can add to it that we need to find. So, let's do the solution. Capacity of first bottle, we know it is 2 liter. And because it is given in milliliters, so we know 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. So, we will just convert this 2 liter into milliliter. It will become 2000 milliliters. So, soft drink in the first bot bottle is 750 ml. So, more soft drink that we can add to it is, we will subtract 750 from 2000. The capacity is 2000 milliliter. The soft drink in the bottle is 750. When we will subtract it, whatever we will get, that much soft drink we can add more to the first bottle. It means 1250 ml more soft drink we can put in the first bottle so that it will become 2 liters or we can say 2000 milliliters. Now capacity of the second bottle is also 2 liters and we have to convert it into milliliters because the soft drink that is there in the bottle it is in milliliters. So we know that 1 liter is equals to 1000 milliliters therefore 2 multiplied by 1000 it will become milliliters and this is 2000 milliliters. Now soft drink in the second bottle it is 1175 ml means milliliter. Therefore, more soft drink that can be added to fill this bottle will be, now the capacity is 2000, uh, 2000 and we need to subtract the soft drink that is there in the bottle that is 1175. So, after subtraction we will get 825 ml. It means 825 ml more soft drink can be filled in the bottle to make it 2000 milliliters. Oh, 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 oh,